so Windows 10 is coming to Endo support really soon. But you still want to use your operating system as you might hit Windows 11. So what can you do about it? You can still use Windows 10 even after the end of support like no one is stopping you as there are still people till date who are using Windows 7 or even Windows XP till date. But personally I would not recommend any of the above as you are compromising the security of your operating system. So what can you really do about it? It's simple move to Windows 10 LTSC as this version of Windows will get support till 2032. But before we move forward, a disclaimer. I won't be posting any links in the description down below regarding this as it will be pretty much illegal to do so. As this version of Windows is mostly used for business purposes and getting a license legally is pretty much impossible. So just search on Google or Reddit and you should find a copy. So you must have some questions in your mind like what's the catch with this version of Windows 10? There are some but let's start off with the positives. As mentioned before, it will get support till 2032 which is awesome. It comes bloat free out of the box. It uses less resources compared to the consumer version of Windows 10 and it's very stable. So positives aside, let's start with the negatives. The driver support on laptops is pretty much a hit or a miss. For example, on my Honor Magical X16, it's pretty much a hassle to get the trackpad working in this version of Windows as I really needed to hunt down the drivers on the internet to get it working. You may lose some performance and as it's broad free, it removes some of the apps like sticky notes which you will need to manually install. But personally, I love Windows 10 LTSC. I used it on my PC for a very long time but due to work and other factors, I have permanently switched to Linux. And in this case, it's Zorin OS which works great. So maybe this could be the time to switch to Linux and give Windows a middle finger. And I hope that Windows 12, whenever that releases, makes Windows great again and reduces its spyware and the amount of AI it seems to be adding in its operating system. Now don't get me wrong, I like AI as it does help me with coding, like stuff like regex, which every developer hates to do. But sometimes I feel like Windows is just shoving the AI a bit too much. Rights aside, I hope this helps you all use Windows 10 just a bit longer. So this wraps it up guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.